At the beginning of the movie, a girl named Emily Hope says that she always wanted her father to just love her. That is why the heroine wanted to set up a situation in which Alexander would protect her, keep her from evil. The man communicates by phone with the kidnapper, who demands money for his daughter. In reality, it is Emily herself, who distorts her voice, who is talking to him. Alexander threw the suitcase with money on the barge, and the heroine herself, meanwhile, tied herself with duct tape and climbed into the trunk. However, at that moment something happened that she could not have foreseen in any way. A suspicious guy named Vincent Roche approaches Emily's BMW and, with the help of a few tools, appropriates the car for himself. When the guy drives out of the parking lot, he is spotted by Alexander's men, and they give chase, believing that the kidnappers decided to escape after receiving the money. Alarmed by this turn of events, Vincent tries to get away from the chase and escape from justice. With the help of a few clever maneuvers, he manages to push the police cars, thus preventing the chase from continuing. Meanwhile, Alexander's men try to seize the money from the men on the barge, but the ransom is blown away by the wind. Vincent safely reaches the warehouse with stolen cars and begins to examine the contents of the glove compartment of the car. Meanwhile, a family friend, Raymond Perkins, arrives at the mansion to visit an anxious Mr. Hope. Alexander asks the detectives to leave the room to speak to the man alone. Vincent hears strange noises from the trunk and, taking precautions, opens it. Inside he finds the owner of the car tied up. Vincent leaves her in the same place and heads to the cafe to make a phone call. However, Emily manages to get out of her captivity, after which the girl tries to get rid of the scotch. Having removed the handcuff with a previously hidden key, the heroine begins to look for a way out. Vincent manages to finally get to the phone, and he informs Greg that it is urgent to meet at the warehouse. Emily manages to find a cell phone, and informs her father that she has been kidnapped. Uncle Ray suggests talking to someone, but that's when Vincent returns. Emily decides to run away, and does not believe that the guy will not hurt her. On the contrary, the heroine herself attacks Vincent, wanting to get rid of the perceived threat. Wanting to calm Emily down, the guy allows her to go to the bathroom, but chains her to the pipe when she tries to examine the medicines behind the mirror. While the heroine does her business in the toilet, Vincent tries to explain to Greg what has happened to him. The buddy advises to put Emily in the trunk again and drive her somewhere and let her out. Then the heroine will return home safely, and they and their enterprise of selling stolen cars will not have any problems. However, problems arise here as well. Emily does not agree to climb into the trunk again, so the guy has to give in. Vincent puts a hat on the heroine and puts her in the front seat. Emily decides to relax a little, and then throws an unextinguished cigarette but into a bucket with fabrics. Vincent drives away, and a fire breaks out in the warehouse due to the heroine's indiscretion. Meanwhile, Ray suggests that perhaps Emily herself may have faked the kidnapping to get her cold father's attention. However, Alexander is angry saying that this prank cost him too much. During the ride, Emily does take the hat off her face and criticizes the guy's way of making a living. Vincent responds by noting that he once stole a Ferrari with a dog, but the dog made a lot less noise. The detectives discuss that the loss of a million dollars is actually nothing to Alexander, since his business is partially illegal. Meanwhile, Greg's warehouse goes up in flames, and Vincent almost drives his passenger to an inconspicuous location. However, Emily becomes hysterical, saying she doesn't want to stay in the woods, especially not alone. The heroine grabs Vincent and asks him to drive her closer to the highway. The guy still gives in to the girl's entreaties and leaves Emily on the highway, unflatteringly saying goodbye to her. Ray arrives at the burned warehouse, believing that he may be connected to the heroine, since her car was found there. Meanwhile, Vincent stops by the diner and learns of what happened to Greg's business. Ray begins his own investigation. After charming an elderly waitress, who used to be a singer, the man discovers that a guy who left another address lived in the burned-out room. Ray is happy to have achieved the first result in the investigation and continues to look for Emily. Vincent returns to the heroine and asks her to tell her family that she is okay. Otherwise, the kidnapping will hang on him. The guy apologizes for stealing the car and offers to leave Emily his car in exchange for hers. The heroine agrees, but on the phone tells her father something completely different, 
as she does not intend to return home. Angry Vincent wants to chase the girl away, but the beauty handcuffs herself to the car and accidentally swallows the key. The guy tries to retrieve it and kisses Emily so as not to arouse the suspicion of passers-by. Vincent drives away from the diner and quarrels with the heroine, saying that her call added another 30 years to his incarceration. Stick informs Greg that the car warehouse can no longer operate, which means their Ferrari order and refund to docks is in jeopardy. Emily gets a call from Ray and asks the girl to stop her games and keep Vincent out of it. The frustrated heroine decides to stop at a motel and removes the handcuffs, since the key was actually in her shoe. The guy buys Emily a drink and asks her to be more careful. A melancholy Vincent returns to his house and calls Greg. The guy finds out about Dox's demand and exhales, as he's taken the money and the only problem left is the Ferrari. Greg suggests they meet at the bar at 3 o'clock because otherwise they could be in big trouble. The detectives question a gas station employee, and he says that Emily was in their parking lot the night before and was making out in the car with some guy. Vincent wakes up to a visit from Ray, and at first mistakes him for Agent Dox. A man demands to be taken to Emily. As bail, Ray takes the bag with the money intended for Dox. At this time, Emily dreams that her father just saved her and said that she was the most important thing in his life. At the table to the heroine is seated Ray and Vincent. The man tries to convince Emily to leave with him, but the girl is angry that Alexander does not care about her. Vincent asks to finish all his business as soon as possible, since he has to go. Ray explains that the heroine could go to jail for falsifying a crime, so they need to blame it on Vincent. Emily, however, resists the idea, so she pretends to be offended by Ray. Thus, the heroine takes Vincent to the street, saving him from the man's schemes. The couple manages to escape, and Emily promises to return the money that was left in Ray's car. The heroine steals a car and takes Vincent to Greg's house. The boy is horrified by what is happening, but Emily nonchalantly repeats that her father will definitely give the money. Greg hopes that this will happen, otherwise a lot of problems await them from Doc's. The heroine calls Alexander and puts forward conditions. Ray returns the money to Vincent, and then she goes home without causing unnecessary resonance. The guy asks Emily what she keeps trying to get away from. Vincent advises the girl not to try to get recognition from her father, but to find her own way and to understand what she wants from life. The couple drinks into the evening. Vincent tells her that he wants to open karaoke bars in Brazil. The heroine asks if she will be able to see him again when the money story is over and gets an agreement from the guy. Afterwards, Vincent kisses the girl. In the morning, the heroes wander around the neighborhood, feeling increasingly attached to each other. However, when Vincent opens the hotel room door, they are pounced upon by thugs. Stick drags the couple and Greg into the car. Now the demands change. As a ransom, they are ready to demand a million dollars. Emily remains with the criminals as a guarantee that the guys will not escape. To get out of the situation, Vincent decides to ask Alexander for help. Upon learning that Emily's father doesn't want to give another million dollars to the new extortionists, the guy loses his temper and reminds him that it's not about the money, but about Emily, his daughter, who is far more valuable than all the capital in the world. Alexander does leave, though, ordering Ray to find out about his daughter's condition. In the end, Vincent only gets his back. However, Ray comes to the guy's rescue, wanting to save Emily. Not knowing that she will get help, the heroine decides to get out on her own. Ray distracts the criminals to get another weapon. Vincent asks not to hurt Emily, and soon she herself appears in a red car. The surprise effect allows them to take out Stick and his partner. Ray agrees not to hurt Vincent and to blame it on the bandits. Emily is ready to tell the cops the whole truth and accepts that Alexander will never love her. The heroine drives away from her parents' house and lets Vincent out of the trunk. Together they drink wine in the very parking lot where it all began. The heroes kiss and hide in the trunk. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.